are you hope all of you are fine and safe at your home students today we will start our lesson number 5 sultan saladin and the jewish merchant so first in this video i read the chapter for you so you have to listen it very carefully and practice it saladin the great found one day that he had spent all his treasure in wars and wasteful living so he was in need of a large sum of money he was wondering whom he could ask for such a large sum then he remembered melchisedek a jew in alexandria who had plenty of money melchisedek was so miserly that he would never lend money willingly and saladin did not wish to use force without some excuse so he thought of a trick he sent for the jew received him in a friendly way and asked him a question my noble friend he said i have heard from many people that you are very wise and that you have a deep understanding of god's way tell me this which of the three religions is the true one judaism islam or christianity the sultan thought if the jew praises the jewish religion and puts it above the religion of the muslims i will throw him into prison and set him free only if he gives me the money i want but the jew who really was a wise man saw at once that the sultan wanted to trap him he said to himself a trap is being laid for me so he decided that he must not praise any one of the three religions weighing his words he said noble sultan you have asked me a very good question it is a question which has often been asked but has never been satisfactorily answered before i can give you my answer i have to tell you a story tell me the story the sultan said once there was a rich man who possessed a beautiful ring the jew began he was so fond of the ring that he wished to do it an honor so he made it known that before he died he would pass the ring on to the worthiest of his sons the son who received the ring would inherit his wealth and be the head of the family after the rich man's death one of his sons received the ring and became the head of the family he is he in turn gave similar orders about the rings to his sons and at the time of his death acted as his father had done in this way the ring passed on from father to son for several hundred years in the end it came into the hands of a man who had three sons all equally worthy and equally devoted to him each of them begged the father to leave the ring to him the man loved all of his sons equally he promised the ring to each of them so he got a goldsmith to make two other rings exactly like the one he had inherited from his father the three rings were so similar that the goldsmith himself could not tell which was the original one when the old man was dying he secretly gave each of his sons a ring so after their father's death each of them claimed the inheritance and to prove their claim each of them showed his own ring everyone found the three rings to be so similar that no one could tell which was the true one the question of inheritance could not be settled and it has not been settled to this day noble sultan it is the same with the three religions given by god 
our father to the three people the followers of each religion think that they have the inheritance to the true religion and they accuse the others of falsehood they quarrel over the question and even use violence but this question i think is as difficult to settle as the question of the true ring saladin saw that the jew was too clever for him but he was a large hearted man and appreciated the jew's wisdom and intelligence leaving all tricks he told the man of his need and asked for his help the jew gladly lent saladin all the money he needed and saladin later repaid him in full to the end of his days the jew enjoyed saladin's friendship and favor so students here this is the story of Sul Sul sultan saladin and the jewish merchant so you have to read this chapter and try to understood it